If you want your Steam Deck to look like this, or this, or even this, you're definitely in the right place. Today, I want to talk about some of the recent plugins that I've installed on my Steam Deck and how some of these cool community-made plugins may enhance your own Steam Deck experience. I want to show you guys how to do it, and it only takes about a few minutes, and show you some of the cool plugins that I would recommend personally that really enhances the Steam Deck experience in its entirety. Without further ado, let's get right into it, with me first showing you how you can install this, and if you've already installed it, you can skip to the different settings sections about the different plugins that I would recommend. Downloading where you actually get your plugins from, which is called Decky Loader, is a super simple and easy process. First, what you want to do is get into desktop mode. So I'll show you guys how to do that now, and most of you should already know this. Once you get into desktop mode, you want to search up Decky Loader and click on the first link. Once you click on the first link, you want to scroll down until you find where it says install a file. You want to click on this and download the file. As I've already done this, I can't repeat the process exactly, but essentially, all you're going to do is follow exactly what it says on the page and you should have it up and running in literally a minute. This took me about 30 seconds to do and for the purpose of the video I'm using a mouse and keyboard but you can easily do it with your trackpad which I did when I first installed it. Once you've done all the steps that are there on the page you want to get out of this desktop mode and go back to gaming mode. Now when you go back to gaming mode if you just quickly press the quick menu option and scroll all the way down you should see a new section called decky and from here you can go to the marketplace for different platforms plugins. All of these plugins are free and made by the community. And they are constantly updated to make sure that they work and adapt with the new Steam versions. There are so many plugins to choose from and definitely a lot more than I could talk about in this one video. So the process is just simple as that. It will take you literally a minute if you follow all of the steps on the page and you should have Decky up and running and be able to install all of the plugins that I'm going to be talking about in the subsequent sections of the video. First up, I think we've got the most transformative out of all of these different Decky plugins. So once you've gone and installed Decky and just go to the marketplace, you want to search up CSS Loader or just scroll down and find it. Once you've installed CSS Loader, you can access it through the same quick menu option that I showed you earlier in order to access Decky as a whole. And from here, you can go to the specific marketplace created for CSS Loader. From within the marketplace, you can then choose from a bunch of different themes that can literally alter everything system-wide or little things such as game cover reflections. And if you want some of the themes that I showed earlier in this video, CSS CSS Loader is the plugin you need in order to get all of these different things. For example, I'll be installing the Wii theme and Switch like banners as a showcase to show you how all of this works within CSS Loader and within the Decky Loader itself. Once you've installed whatever themes or different things that you want from here, such as game cover reflections, centered home, different fonts for your different games, you can go back to the quick menu option that I talked about earlier and then click on CSS Loader. Then all the different themes and different plugins that you've installed within CSS Loader should all appear here and you can easily toggle them and customize them to your liking. I'm going to be turning on the Wii theme here and also showing you the switch like banners, showing you how easy all of this is and how you can easily do it yourself. CSS Loader is also super customizable as you can tinker and configure with all of the different specific things in the themes that you have downloaded such as the game cover size, the font size and so many more things in order to tweak this to your liking. You can get the Steam UI to look however you want using all these different themes and different plugins that you can install through CSS loader and I would recommend messing around with all the different options in order to make sure that the UI looks exactly how you want it. Once you've done this you can also make different profiles using different themes that you have downloaded from the store. For example if I want to use the Wii theme but don't want to use switch like banners I can make that into one profile and then switch another one in order to make one for the switch like banners. It's a super easy process and you can switch between them quite easily making the whole experience super customizable. CSS loader is definitely the one plugin that I'd recommend that you install over all the other plugins. It's such a great plugin and there is so much customization within the plugin itself and you can really tweak it and make sure that you get the UI looking exactly how you want it in order to fit your own preferences. Now I want to quickly talk about a more simple plugin and it's pretty easy to use and doesn't do too much but I think it's a good quality of life improvement if you want stuff like this. It's called How Long To Beat for Steam Deck and it's in the name essentially what it does. It will show you the different times for different games of how long it's going to take to beat them and in different categories as well not just how long to beat the main story. For example it will show you how long it will take to beat a game's main story, doing the main story and extra things 
or even if you want to do a 100% completionist run, it also show you how long it will take to do that. I find it a super useful plugin, especially if you've got a lot of games in your backlog on Steam. As when you're selecting a game, you can see how long it's going to take you to beat the main story, do the main story in extras, or if you're a completionist, it's going to show you how long it's going to take to do all of the different things that are needed for 100% in that game. It's a very good plugin and it's super easy to install and it looks super clean as when you click on any game, it will show right next to the banner how long it's going to take to beat the game. The next plugin I'm going to talk about is also one of my favorites and probably my second favorite right after CSS Loader. This plugin is called Steam Grid DB. It's a super simple plugin just like how we talked about with how long to beat, but it's an awesome one that really lets you customize everything to its fullest potential within the Steam UI. What Steam Grid DB essentially allows you to do is customize how the game looks. For example, its game cover, the hero art that displays when you click on the game, the wide capsule that shows when you press on a game and it goes into your recent played and so many more things such as the game's logo, icon, etc. It's a super fun plugin to mess around with as all you need to do is press the options button on any game that you would like to change the artwork for. Once you've done this all you do is press change artwork and once you're in here you can customize everything to your heart's content. All of the different art is uploaded by community users on the Steam Grid DB website where you can access thousands of different artworks for different games. There is so much options whenever you click on a game and you're able to change every single part of the game's look, such as the cover, the hero, etc., in order to make the game's art look as beautiful as you want. It's a really fun plugin to mess around with, as whenever you want to change an artwork or don't feel like you want to use that artwork anymore, all you need to do is press one button, click change artwork, and all these different artworks for all the various games will display, allowing you to just click one and be able to use it, and then switch whenever you like. As you can see on the video now, I'm looking through all the different artwork for the various games that I have, and all of them have so much different artwork you can choose from. All you need to do is click them once and the artwork will change. This plugin is also another one that I'd highly recommend all of you to download as it's just super fun to mess around with and you can make all your games look exactly how you would want them. This plugin is a must have in my opinion and it's super useful for every single game that you play. Essentially this plugin is called ProtonDB Badges and essentially what it's going to do is give you a better version of the Steam Deck verification system for games. Of course as you all know, many games on the Steam Store are either Steam Deck verified, unsupported, or in the middle. Essentially, what ProtonDB Badges is, is a plugin made from ProtonDB. ProtonDB is a website that you can access that has different settings for different games on the Steam Deck and how well they would run. Then, based on all the different curated Steam Deck settings and different performances that different users got on ProtonDB, and then using all those different performance and settings that users have experienced with with the game, ProtonDB will then give the game a score or a badge of platinum, gold, etc. For example, I'm looking at The Witcher 3, which has a ProtonDB badge of platinum. If you click on this little badge, it's going to send you to the ProtonDB page for the game and then see all the different settings and performance experienced by different users on the game that you're looking at. It's a super useful tool to install and it's much better than the usual Steam Deck verification tool of a game being Steam Deck verified or unsupported. As many unsupported games work perfectly fine on the Steam Deck and some Steam Deck verified games don't work as intended. So going and installing ProtonDB badges as a plugin is super useful and you can see the actual performance and the different settings that you should be using on the Steam Deck across a wide range of games and I highly recommend that you also install this plugin because it's just a super useful tool to have. This section is going to be super quick and brief because at the time of this recording this plugin isn't working as intended but I'll still mention it in case the creator updates it which they usually do and make it work again. This plugin is called Game Theme Music and it's exactly what it sounds like. What you're going to be able to do just as you did with the artwork with Steam Grid DB is choose between different game themes for your different games and whenever you click on the game that specific theme is going to play. This when it's actually working is a super cool plugin to install as you can choose between the different game themes that appear for the game that you're looking at and choose whatever one you want so whenever you click onto that game in practice what it would do is play that game theme that you selected and you can choose between hundreds of different themes for that specific game that you've chosen. It's an awesome plugin when it actually works so I'm just going to throw it out there in case you do want to install it and it is eventually updated.
reset it in order to make it work again. This plugin is in the same vein as the previous one I just talked about, and this one is called Audio Loader. Essentially, this one, once you install it, will again allow you to go to a marketplace similar to CSS Loader and then choose between different system wide music or different audios for the system. So, essentially, if you wanted the Xbox 360 UI sounds, such as I did for nostalgia purposes, all you need to do is install that and then through the plugin you can apply this. And I'll just show you how it sounds right now. As you can see, this plugin is absolutely awesome on all fronts. And then if you wanted to choose specific system-wide music or themes that would play while you're just browsing around the game library, the Steam store and whatever else, you can also choose that here. You can choose the PS2 theme, the PS5 theme, and all these different themes. Whatever you want to choose that is on that storefront, you can install them and apply them. And I'll show you again what it would sound like with the PS5 sounds and the PS5 theme playing. Again, this plugin is awesome and I would also recommend that you install this plugin and just mess around with the different audios and sounds that you would like to play while you're using your Steam Deck, making it even more customizable, especially when you pair it with something like CSS Loader, for example. Now for the second last plugin that I want to talk about, it's called Vibrant Deck. For me personally on the Steam Deck OLED, I don't find much use out of this because the colors are already popping on that OLED screen. But when I had my LCD Steam Deck, I definitely use Vibrant Deck quite a lot. Essentially what Vibrant Deck as a plugin would allow you to do is basically mess around with the vibrancy of different games. Of course, you want to be quite conservative with the vibrancy slider because you don't want the game to be too bright for example or have too much contrast or lack contrast as well in the image. So what I would recommend is putting a little bit of vibrancy depending on the type of game you are playing. On the Steam Deck OLED using this plugin, I don't really see a huge difference even when I'm in a game such as Soulstone Survivors like here. And it's not really showing anything different to what I already see with the image, so I wouldn't really recommend it if you had a Steam Deck OLED. But with the LCD, this plugin is one that I used a lot and I highly recommend you use it if you have an LCD Steam Deck to make those colors pop way better than what it usually does on the LCD screen. Now for the last and final plugin for this video, I want to talk about a quick one but a super useful one as well. This plugin is called Is There Any Deal? And essentially when you go to the Steam store once you've installed this plugin, whenever you click on a game, for example God of War here, which is $74 in Australian at the moment, at the bottom it's going to show you where from official resellers of games, so official ones and none of those grey market sites where you can get the cheapest price for the game. For example here it says Game Billet has it way cheaper than the Steam store. And I'll quickly show you a few different games where this will show. For example on Cyberpunk 2077, the best price you can get for the game is currently on the Steam store because Cyberpunk 2077 is on sale. If you want to get the best prices on all of the games that you buy on Steam, I definitely recommend that you install this plugin. Especially when a game is also on sale, you can see if the sale price beats the current best on other websites out there. And that's pretty much the whole crux of this plugin, but it's a super awesome one to use. I hope you all did enjoy today's video. If you want more videos like this going over different Steam Deck plugins or even more than this video or different configurations that you can do with your Steam Deck, especially if you're a new user of the Steam Deck, let me know down in the comments below. Anyway, that's all from me for today's video. If you did enjoy this video, consider subbing to the channel for more content like this and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.